Hi, I'm pro saxophonist Jamie Anderson, and you're watching Get Your Sax Together. I sax up your Sunday every week with free online saxophone lessons teaching you great technique tips, player profiles, and breakdowns of your favorite sax solos. On today's lesson, you'll learn how to play Greg Ham's iconic sax hook from Who Can It Be Now by Men at Work. This week is another easy one, partly because it's good to cater for the beginners on sax, and partly because I can't spend all week making complicated videos at the moment as I'm furiously working away on my new Total Tone Mastery course. If you want to improve your sound, this course is going to be perfect for you, but you're going to have to wait for a few more weeks, I'm afraid. Who Can It Be Now is by Aussie band Men At Work, and it was released on their 1981 album Business As Usual. The tenor saxophone is played by founder member Greg Ham played with the band from 1979 to 1985. Men at Work reformed in 1996, but Ham died prematurely in 2012 at the age of 59. To keep it manageable, we're just going to learn the main riff of the song today, and it's only four notes, but I know some of you are going to want the main solo in the song as well, so as a special bonus, at the end of the video, I'll play the solo for you, but just with the music transcription underneath. I've got you covered though, because if you go to the link below, you can get your free PDF for Who Can It Be Now, which has got the main riff and the solo written out for alto and tenor sax. If you're not sure of your sax fingerings, then go and check out my new deluxe finger chart for sax, which has got all saxophone fingerings plus full altissimo fingerings. You can get that from the description or at getyoursaxtogether.com forward slash finger chart. All the normal fingerings are on one sheet. There's a sheet for alternative fingerings, a map so you can understand the chart, and six different fingerings for every altissimo note for alto and tenor. Pretty damn cool. And as always, you can check out my free one hour saxophone success masterclass using the link below. If you like learning classic sax riffs and solos, then there's a treasure trove of them on my Hall of Fame playlist linked above now. There's only four notes in the main riff for Who Can It Be Now, which makes it quite straightforward. The only challenge might be hitting the high F sharp on tenor. You can always take it down the octave though. The key isn't very kind for us sax players, either D sharp minor for tenor or B flat minor for alto. Anyway, here's the riff broken down in slow motion. There's only one phrase which is repeated. This phrase also comes back to echo the vocal in the chorus. Okay, simple as that folks. Now here's what it sounds like at full speed with the backing track. After I've played it, I'll let you play along with the backing track. Remember, you can change the speed of playback on YouTube. Just go to your settings for the video on your computer or phone and slow it down to 0.75 or even 0.5 speed until you can learn it properly. There's a two bar click before you come in and just watch out for that offbeat drum fill. Now, I promised you I'd play that solo bit in the middle as well. So here it is, not broken down slowly with fingerings, I'm afraid, but with the music transcription for alto and tenor underneath. I'm actually toying with different formats at the moment so that I can cover much longer solos without breaking it down to each note with the fingerings. I know some of you are advanced enough to know all the fingerings, and when it comes to long solos like Will You by Hazel O'Connor or Money by Pink Floyd, I need a YouTube format that works for loads of notes. Maybe let me know in the comments if it's helpful just having the transcription with the note names. At least that way you can get the notes if you don't read music. Anyway, apparently the sax solo on Who Can It Be Now was just Greg Ham noodling and warming up without knowing he was being recorded for the song. No offence to Men at Work fans, but that's kind of exactly what it sounds like to me, which is another reason I haven't given it the full treatment. Anyway. 
Here she blows. Hope you enjoy it. So that's it for this Sunday. I hope you enjoyed learning Greg Ham's iconic tenor riff on Who Can It Be Now by Men at Work. Another classic sax riff in the bag. My ambition is to have every famous pop sax solo and riff covered sometime in the next 10 years. <laughs> Don't forget to pick up your free PDF using the link in the description. And if you want to learn some more in-depth sax stuff, go to getyoursaxtogether.com forward slash masterclass to get your free one hour lesson with me. Many thanks for watching this and supporting me. And although I will always be here for you with free content, if you want to buy me a coffee, you can do so using the link in the description. Every little helps in these COVID infested times. <laughs> if you're digging the content, please give the video a thumbs up, leave me a comment, subscribe to the channel, click the bell icon to be notified when I upload new content and check out my Insta and Facebook pages. I'm totally winging it at the moment with my content schedule. So it will be another surprise video next week. Maybe a riff for the people that like housey club saxophone, I don't know. Until then, practice hard, practice smart, and enjoy your music. See you later. You'll learn how to play Greg Ham's iconic sax hook. <laughs> hex hook, hex hook, Greg Ham's hex hook. In 1985, men at Oh, just start this section again, for God's sake.